<laughs> We're out here at the Castle Nook golf course, heading out to practice, have a few drives, get ready for our Thursday day off. We'll see how we get on. Oh. I think the fun now is I'm going to try to put in this fish tank. Oh. <laughs> Ting! Yes. The feeling in camp in Ireland the whole week, I thought it was pretty good. Reasonably relaxed, but it wasn't much different than in any other week. Oh, you've got to understand that there's an amazing amount of pressure on this team all the time. The expectation is that not only do they win, that they play really well. Uh, that's just from the fans. Yeah, you've got to embrace pressure, otherwise it'll you know, overcome you and, and control you. And we don't want to be controlled by pressure. You know, it was important that we just didn't go through the motions like you said last week and you know, there's a big emphasis on getting in the pool and getting your recovery done. Um, and then, you know, not shying away from the work you've got to do on the field and at training. Yeah, I suppose it has been made of an unbeaten year, but for us, we're just focusing on this next game. Uh, it's going to be a massive challenge, especially here in, in Ireland. We know that they grow another arm and a leg when they play in front of their home fans, so I think if we sort of get too far ahead of ourselves, we're going to have to sort of probably be our own worst enemy, so we just have to focus uh, on the process over the next few days to, to make sure we get it right on Sunday. sitting on the bench and I was shocked and looking around watching the Irish and the crowds, I don't, they couldn't believe it as well, they were probably stunned. Gordon Darcy cut off the pass but here goes Aaron Smith, Sean O'Brien does well, had to spin and fly, Cruden, Israel, that looks it up and away goes Rob Carney, Keegan Rain there. is not going to catch him, Rob Carney for Ireland, his brother Dave What a game by the Irishman! The way Ireland started, uh, you know, you're thinking in the, in the back of your head, oh no, for what we've been building for and to get to the last step of almost completing a perfect season could have not been. There's always times in rugby that it doesn't go your way and, and that was probably one of those games in that first half. You know, looked up at the scoreboard and we were down quite a few points, but. Um, it was always reassuring to know that um, we had a good, good side and everyone sort of believed in what we are doing and that meant that we could um, start to claw our way back. Cruden, a little stab through. It's going to be a try for Julian Sarria. The All Blacks are back in this game. I was kind of thinking on the bench, hopefully we get up by a few then. We might empty a few of us guys on there and get a bit of game time. So. When they told me it was going on just after half time, I was, I was pretty surprised. McCorn again. Paul down. Retallic. Kieran Reid to Owen Franks. Here goes Franks again. Looks very much well, like the try will be awarded. It is. I always knew we could come back and um, we had the ability to score those points. We were just running out of time so it was frustrating. We missed some opportunities and things weren't going our way but uh, the main thing was we just stuck to our, our game plan. Has there ever been a bigger kick for Jonathan Sexton? Slides past the post. 
having never beaten the All Blacks, you get five minutes to go against the All Blacks, what do you do? You know, you're nervous, on edge, all those things, and it's whoever holds their nerve, really. Ireland still have it. Three and a half minutes to go. If you have the pill around the 79th minute and you're in the lead, you're generally going to win the game. They can run down the clock from here. Kevin McLaughlin this time. Penalty to New Zealand. Get off your feet. Aaron Smith takes it quickly. Ben Smith, one last defensive set to go through. Eyes about boys now. Eyes about everything. Cruden, Kieran Reid. Back to Cruden. Bowden Barrett. Hurled to the ground. Luke Fitzgerald. Sam Whitelock, we're into the red zone. 18 minutes is up on the clock. Mama Nono, Ben Smith. One try, we've got the firepower to do that. Um, even if we've had a bad uh, 75 minutes, 78 minutes, there's still a chance to put it together. Owen Franks to brother Ben. Cruden. They're queuing up out here, Kieran Reid, Gordon Darcy, Ben Smith, Sean O'Brien and Rob Carney bring him down. Away comes Nono. Crotty with the ball. Oh, it, was, it was unreal. Um, kind, of, kind of a blur, if that makes sense. It, it just happened. Cruden, Franks. Smith to Cruden, Samir, New Zealand so close to keeping their 100% year alive, Maranono, Gordon Darcy brings him down, Ireland slow up release, Cruden, then calls, gets the pass away, it's going to be the try for Ryan Crotty. 14 guys inside you that did the job to create that was was um, was pretty impressive. Yeah, it was huge. Um, I kind of felt probably yeah more relief than elation. It's nice to get credit for it and feel like you contributed something, but well, well aware there's a lot of hard work that went inside for that week on there. I'm stoked that Ryan Crotty could get across the line to draw it up, and then we knew it was going to come down to that kick and. It was probably a wee bit more drama that um, they, they charged down a bit earlier than what they were supposed to, so, you know, um, God sort of got two, two cracks at it, which was good. Everyone was pretty nervous, but at the same time had a lot of faith in um, Aaron to kick it over because he'd you know, been doing it all year, so um, one of those nervous sort of moments to watch. The kick to go through a calendar year having won all their games. Second time, he gets it right, and New Zealand have won what has to be one of the most pulsating games of rugby union we'll ever have the privilege of watching. Yeah, we're robbers, eh? Stole it. You know, the big guys stepped up, Ritos, the Richies, and they just said, just keep playing our games and we'll do it. And the belief came about 10 to go, and I think we, uh, we just started believing. And, you know, seeing forwards being able to do stuff that backs can do, it's pretty awesome. And to see Azza bang it over is probably one of the best things I've ever seen. So, very lucky, though. I think very lucky. Irish are awesome tonight, and uh, a lot of applause goes out to them. But, oh man. I'm wrecked. Hit the first one, I thought she was going through, and then I looked up and saw it drifting to the right. So when I got a second opportunity, I was, I was pretty stoked, and luckily it went through the post that one. Mate, it's the luxury of uh, you guys winning today, so you get to reflect on the perfect season. Yeah, I guess we do, and uh, I suppose it's a bit hard to reflect on that now, but I'm sure over the next sort of 
24 hours we'll be able to do that as a team and uh, you know tonight we really wanted to put in a quality performance and it probably wasn't what we were searching for but I definitely definitely showed our character in the side to be able to guts out a win like that. We wanted to perform well, we didn't really, we weren't allowed to, the Irish played very well but you know you got to take your hat off to the boys in this team, the belief and just hanging in there and you know we got there in the end. go unbeaten for a whole season's something pretty rare and you know it's down the credit's got to go to the, the management and the, the guys involved because you know, they've all worked bloody hard and to see the results come off like that is something pretty awesome. So I guess creating history um, and knowing that no other team has, has done it before um, you know it feels quite special to be a part of. Once we got back in the shed, then it was a reflection of the season. You could really celebrate because um, you, know, you took off the perfect season, which is you know, you know, it's massive.